right guys how are we doing okay so i've just taken the bike outside because i'm going to wash it today and i'm going to use some stuff that i've heard a lot about it is called clean my ride um now a friend of mine who went to the uh, mcn bike show last weekend picked up a bottle of this used it said it's fantastic um so i bought myself a bottle from their website which i'll leave the link for down below um this isn't a paid thing or a sponsored uh, video or anything like that i bought this with my own money based on kind of word of mouth so um, i'm always up for trying new stuff um so i've just taken the bike out it's been i'll be going back and forth to london for about the last two months and it's been raining pretty much every single day so as you can see the bike is just it's manky it is really bad possibly the worst it's ever been i'm gonna give you a couple of close-ups in a second just so we can do a before and after after we've used this stuff so uh yeah i'm gonna let the bike cool down um even though i just took it out of the garage to here um that does give off a bit of heat on the engine so uh, i want to do it properly it's a perfect day for cleaning the bike it's overcast it's cool it's not raining so it's ideal conditions so let's go for the instructions on the bike and then i'm going to give you a close-up of all the muck on here okay so um for all areas of your bike frames chains brakes gears engines fairings screens wheels exhaust suspension uh, suitable for all surfaces including carbon paintwork metals alloys plastic and rubbers it pretty much covers all ground really okay so the fact it does the brakes is good you know a lot of these um products say steer away from your brake disc steer away from your chain because you might damage your o-rings blah 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 so it is biodegradable it is environmentally friendly it is a fast acting concentrate non-streak formula and that's a quite uh, that's quite a bold claim because pretty much every cleaner that i've ever used has always left uh, has always left streaks so um this will be interesting to see um so yeah clean my ride all right so how do we use it wet the bike okay spray the product on liberally and leave for up to five minutes then agitate using a soft washing or detail brush to remove dirt and grease wash the solution from the bike with plenty of water do not leave solution to dry okay um fine pretty standard stuff so i'm gonna leave the bike for about another half an hour let it cool down fully 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 so before we do that let's have a look how grimy this bike is Ugh. start at the back yeah just lots of build up road dirt and going down this alleyway here is just quite muddy engines are pretty grimy crash bars are pretty bad the actual paintwork is horrendous Gee, i don't even know how that got there that's actually oily i have no idea how that got there that's okay headlight bad front fender bad screen horrendous let's have a look at the brakes actually calipers yeah awful wheels awful yeah it's that kind of gray it just covers the bike in a sort of gray mist look at that oh jeez, billy what have you what are you doing to your poor bike That there was from, I had to spray WD-40 into my disc lock because it kept seizing up on me. So there you go. So before I start just spraying it down, this is the brush I'm going to use. Uh, it's just a standard, very soft bristle brush. So um, the reason I'm going into all these sort of 
you know, steps, if you like, is because I don't know what it is about cleaning videos. People get very sort of anal about it and they say, why didn't you do that? You should have done this, you should have done that. So what I'm doing is, I am doing it exactly how the manufacturers recommend to the minute okay so there's no you know it can't be debated whether i did this that or the other it's perfect conditions overcast cool i'm gonna check the bike now actually perfect that's nice and cool now so yeah it's about uh, i think it's hold on a sec Five degrees. So it's cold, but it's not it's not freezing, you know. I've only got a jumper on it. Alright, enough waffle. Let's get the bike soaked. All right, just to recap, it says spray on liberally, leave for five minutes, and then agitate with the old brush there. Let's do it. you can definitely see where you sprayed it look at the color of the stuff it's yellow in the bottle but when it comes and it lands on the bike it's like a it's like luminous green look at that all right so i've got the bike well covered there so we'll leave that for five minutes exactly Let's get down there. So that was five minutes on the dot. Okay. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna get straight into scrubbing it. All I'm doing there is just getting rid of any grit that's accumulated on the brush because I don't want it settling in there and scratching the paintwork. Let's, uh, let's get this all rinsed off. Because obviously you don't want to let it dry, as it says.
Okay. All right, so that actually looks quite good out there. I'm just gonna let it drip dry for the moment. Then I'm gonna go over with the, uh, the old chamois cloth there and um, uh, see how it looks. It does say on the back here, um, if you have any uh, thick grease buildup, uh, like heavy dirt buildup, soak or submerse uh, non-painted working parts and leave to soak for 30 minutes. So that's the thing about this, it's a cleaner degreaser, so effectively it's two products in one. Um, so yeah, so one thing uh, I will say about it is it's very quick, that dirt buildup on the exhaust um, with just a few light strokes of that brush has come off. So it really does break up that grease really quickly. So um, yeah, let's go out there and uh, go over with the chamois, make sure it's nice and dry on the bits that we want to see at least anyway. And then uh, we'll go over with the camera again and we'll have a look in uh, a bit closer detail. Let's do it. <laughs> So we've had a good dry off on some bits. Let's have a close up. There's the front mud guard. I mean, that's good. That is good, considering how bad that was. Let's do a quick before and after picture. Front beak there. Yeah, perfect. Look at the shine on it. I only just buffed out for chamois. The glass, excellent. The plastics, fantastic. Let's have a look at the paintwork on the tank. Yeah, I don't need to say anything really. I mean, that is superb. Engine casings. Again, excellent. I always get dry marks on here anyway with the water, so it's no biggie. Now the exhaust, remember how bad that was? All, all along there. Let's do a quick before and after picture. There we go. Superb. These marks here, obviously that's nothing to do with a cleaner. Um, these are scratches that have been done in the past over the last couple of years where it's been cleaned. But that's okay. Let's have a look at the wheels. Not bad, still a bit on there, but the wheels always take the brunt of the dirt and the grime. So I reckon another going over on the wheels wouldn't hurt. Let's have a look at the shaft. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a caliper. So let's do a before and after of the uh, shaft drive. Start at the back. And then there was really bad, so that's all gone. Yeah, it's very good at getting rid of um, heavy built up muck really good really impressed with that there we 
areas there. Very decent product indeed. Very, very quick. Very, very quick at getting rid of lots of muck. Um, and you really couldn't ask for more than that. There's a few spots on the wheels where it didn't quite break it down. But considering it's only on there for five minutes, you can't really, um, you can't really complain about that. So yeah, very impressive. Again, it's not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to say it. I didn't buy it. I've got a receipt for it. If you want to see the receipt, I will show you the receipt. Um, yeah, another excellent product to show you guys. So uh, hopefully that helps. If you've got some uh, cleaning coming up, give this one a um, definite consider. It's uh, top stuff. All right, guys, that is it. We are done for another week. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Take it easy. See you later, guys. Bye.